गुड इवनिंग एवरीबारी Good evening. Hi, hello. How are you? Good guys? evening. Hey, Luis, David, Vicky. Hi, good evening, Salvador, Ramiro. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Very good to good see you evening. once again. Hi, Morena. Good evening. Huh? Morena is here, Ramiro, Salvador. Very nice. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Bien. Relaxing. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Okay, very nice. nice. Okay. No han salido. Hot. No. Oh yeah, it was it was so hot. Yeah. yeah. Pero qué día llovió bastante el sábado, I think on Saturday. Uh, it was rainy. At I, night, I, I remember. And Sunday at night. Sunday at night it was yeah. so cloudy. Yeah. yeah, very cloudy. You're right. Okay, that's it. Well, my friends, survivors, los que llegamos al final, right? <laughs> Section number four, uh, five, I'm sorry. This is the last week of classes. So remember, we have classes from Monday to Wednesday. And on Thursday, we have the final exam. Okay, with me. Vamos a hacer aquí el examen final juntos. Vamos a estar en la plataforma. Y ahí vamos a realizar el examen final. Yo voy a ir eh, pidiendo la colaboración de cada uno de ustedes y ustedes me van a decir las respuestas, ¿ok? Así que, that's it. Esa es la dinámica y también um, si tienen dudas de algún tema o algo, pues me lo hacen saber. Prácticamente el, el, el jueves va a ser eso, ¿ok? La realización del examen final. Eh, solamente el listening les va a quedar a ustedes ahí para que lo lo puedan hacer en, con más tiempo en su casita, ¿ok? Pero lo demás, pues, section number five, ¿ok? Eh, por aquí estuvieron ya haciendo ejercicios. Vicky me escribió también, me acuerdo, ¿ok? De las secciones. Y pues ya para este tiempo ya tienen que haber terminado section one, section two, section three, section four, ¿ok? Y quizás pues comenzar a partir de la clase de hoy a mañana pues section number five, ¿ok? So, ¿qué vamos a ver esta semana? Vamos a ver la hora. ¿Cómo expresar la hora en inglés? ¿Ok? Aquí vamos a usar los números que nos aprendimos allá hace una semana del, pues del 1 al 59, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a aprender la hora en diferentes formas. Eh, en la forma fácil le llamo yo, pues, la, cuando usted mira las agujitas. Y la forma difícil ya pues cuando decimos faltan 20 para las o faltan, o son eh, 20 pasadas las 4, etcétera, etcétera. Ok, so, this is uh, section number 4, ok, 5, uh, I'm sorry, sigo con el 4. Con el ok, this is section number 5 all about, ok, the time. This is what we are going to study Okay, tonight, okay? But before we start, uh, we're going to have a, a little review. Quiero que hagamos un repaso, okay? A little review for the present continuous, okay? The present continuous, remember my friends, the present continuous is a, what, um, what is happening at the moment, okay? What is happening in this time? So, uh, last week we did an exercise, okay, I gave you an example of uh, describing what people is wearing at the moment and also the activities that the people are doing right now, okay? In the platform you had a similar exercise, okay? Creo que había un problema con una respuesta, creo la primera, eh, que era acerca de Greg, okay? Oh, creo que se llama el, el chico ahí, que no le salía a muchos de ustedes las respuestas. Para uno, pues las tenían buena, pero le faltaba el punto, ¿ok? Y ese era el gran problema. Otros sí quizás la tenían diferente, pero eh, ya en los que me escribieron y los que escribieron en el grupo de chat ya pudieron, ¿ok? Eh, arreglar ese problema. So, I have an, an exercise like this, okay, it's igual, it's practically igual, okay, it's very similar. And I have here a picture, okay, for different famous people. We have Daniel uh, Rockcliffe, we have Sandra Bullock, I have David Beckham, right, Kristen Stewart, 
Cameron Diaz and Penelope Cruz, okay? So these are, are actors and actresses, right? A very famous people, you know them. And they are doing something, right, at the moment. Right now, I want you to give me the description, okay, for some of you. Um, I, I, I will ask some of you to, to answer some questions, right? Then, my friends, I'm going to ask some questions related to the activities. For example, and you have to give me the answer. For example, in this case, uh, I can ask Luis, for example, Luis, pay attention to David Beckham, okay? So the question is, Luis, is David Beckham a uh, drinking a uh, water? Uh, no. No, he's not. Okay, very good. Okay, so what is he doing, uh, Luis? Or what is he drinking? Is uh, soda. Uh huh. He is. Is he? He is soda. Uh, no, he is. No, he... The verb. He is Happy drinking is. soda. Excellent. Very good. He's drinking soda. Very good. Morena, and, and what about Cameron Diaz? Uh, what is she wearing right now, uh, Morena? Cameron Diaz, what is she wearing? A, a microphone, More. Microphone. Okay, what is she wearing right now? Look, uh, at, look at her. She's wearing a blue, light blue dress. Oh, okay, she's wearing a light blue dress, okay, and... And she's wearing uh, high heels. Uh-huh, very good. What color? I think gray. Okay, great uh, high heels, okay, very good. Gray and high he is, is she, okay, is she, is she reading a book, Morena? No, she's not. And what is she doing? She's... Reading uh, a missile, missile? A, ma a message. <laughs> a message. <laughs> okay, a message. Okay. Uh -huh. or, or I think I think she's taking a picture. I think. I, I think. think. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. I she's think, taking uh, a picture. Okay. Well, she's taking a picture. A selfie, a picture. right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. What about Sandra Bullock? Okay, Sandra Bullock. Vicky, can you describe Sandra Bullock, please? Describe Sandra Bullock. These are yeah. high heels and this is necklace, okay? Necklace. Okay, ne Vicky. She's wearing a necklace. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a high heels. Okay, she's wearing high heels, very good. She's wearing a purple dress. Dress, excellent. And what is she doing? She's eating. Ah, she's eating, 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 mm -hmm. eating. eating. She's ah, eating. she's eating. Very good. And in this moment, she's she's fun. Uh huh. She's having. Se está Heavy. divirtiendo, right? Se está divirtiendo. Heavy. She's mm -hmm. having having fun. Having fun. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Vicky. Thank you very much. Okay. I need now, guys, one volunteer for Penelope Cruz. Who wants to describe Penelope Cruz here? One volunteer. Penelope Cruz. What is she wearing and what is she doing in this moment? Blouse, skirt, boots. Okay, this is the vocabulary that you have to use. Mm -hmm. One volunteer, please. What is she doing and what is she wearing right now? Okay, uh -huh. one volunteer. A brave one. Uno valiente, uh -huh. a brave one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Janare, okay, okay. 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 No, 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 Janare, Janare, Janare. Janare, okay. <laughs> Janare is here. I don't know if she's listening to me. Are you listening to me, Janare? Janare Alawang? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Sorry. Janare. Very good, Janare. Okay, can you please describe what Penelope Cruz is wearing and what is she doing right now, please? Okay. 
he's wearing a brown boot. Ah, brown boots, excellent. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing a, a brown, I think so, it's brown mm -hmm. skirt. A skirt, uh -huh. very good, very good. Mm -hmm. And she's, wear, she's wearing a... A yellow or mustard. Yellow, yellow blouse. <laughs> yellow yellow blouse. blouse, very good, excellent. And what is she doing right now? She's doing, she's, she's taking a picture. Ah, she's taking a picture. Excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you, Yanari. Excellent. Okay, very good. That's it. So this is what, what we have here, okay? Eh, Karina, look at Daniel Radcliffe. Okay, this is Daniel. Okay. Karina, is Hola. Daniel, is Daniel very eh, angry? In this party, is Daniel very angry? Uh, is Daniel angry? She's angry. Um, is Daniel angry? She's Daniel, no. Aha, uh -huh, so no. So no. Eh, digo, feliz, happy. Yeah, he is. Uh -huh. He is happy. Ah, okay, very good. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Peter. What about Kristen Stewart? Is Kristen Stewart is Kristen Stewart a holding a basketball? No. Is no, Kristen is ah, okay, very good. What is she holding in her hands? She's holding a, a football. Uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. That's okay. Uh -huh. uh, football, football or, or, uh -huh, yeah, or like uh, 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 yes, uh -huh. or a soccer <laughs> ball. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Okay. You see, this is uh, something that we are going to we are going to with something similar to the platform that you have to answer the questions depending of the of the the, the picture that you have there. Okay. Remember, respuestas cortas. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Yes, they are. No, they are not or they aren't. Okay? Por ahí alguien me escribía, teacher, me sale mala, mala esa respuesta. ¿Y por qué? Me había puesto yes, his. La H, la E, el apóstrofe y la S. Déjenme decirles una vez más que cuando usted va a dar la respuesta, no se contracta en ese caso el verbo to be en forma positiva. No puede decir, yes, I'm, yes, she's, yes, he's, en forma positiva, eh, contractada no se puede en respuestas, ¿ok? Por esa razón, a esa persona le salía mal la respuesta, ¿ok? Solo para que, por si lo, lo hacen, no cometan ese error. Right. So now, as I said, we are going to start section number five, guys, talking about the time. Okay. And for this, uh, tengo una pregunta básica. ¿Se puede en todos el reloj de aguja? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. There okay. Si hay yes. alguien que no se pues me dice. Okay. Ya me ha pasado que por eso no me entienden el tema, porque teacher, yo no me puedo el reloj de aguja. Okay, so this is important because most of the most of the pictures, like most of the examples, are with these hands. You know, no usan los los análogos, sino que usan esto de agujita. Okay, so in English, pues esto se llama este este es un, un un clock. El que usted se pone en la mano se llama watch. Okay, this is a watch, but the ones that you have in your bedroom or on the walls, that's a clock. Ok, las agujas se llaman hands, ok, hands, like manos, ok. Like manos. Uh -huh. Exactly, uh -huh, like manos. So, we have, a, in this case, ok, as I said before, the time and we have a little conversation related to the time, ok. So, this is a conversation between Debbie and John. Okay, it's when they say yaman, right? When you're, um, my friend is in, in Japan, for example. 
Okay, Ooh, in Japan there is a big difference of time. So this is a little conversation that I have for you in order to present, okay, the time here. Listen to it, activate your speakers, okay, I'm going to play it for you. Page 30, exercise 2, conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m., and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake, ya estoy despierta, les. Okay, that's it. That happens when when you call from Sydney to United States. You know, it's four o'clock, but in the morning. So can you imagine? Okay, it says here, okay, hello, hi, Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Present continuous. Look, I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? So look at this question, what time is it? Okay, what time is it? Cada vez que usted quiera preguntar la hora a alguien en inglés, pues le puede preguntar así o de otra forma que ya le voy a decir, okay? But this is the most common. What time is it? What time is it there? ¿Y qué horas son allá? Okay, what time is it? It's uh, 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock, but in the morning, okay? So 4 a.m., oh, I'm really sorry. Anyways, I'm already awake, okay? That's it. So this is the question that we're going to practice, okay, right now. And it's, what time is it? And at this uh, very moment, I want to share with you uh, a video, okay? This is a video that I want you to pay attention because this video is the explanation of how to ask the time and tell the time in English, okay? So, look at this. Uh, I have this clock here and it's divided in two sections. The pink section and the yellow section. Si se fijan, está dividido en una rayita en medio donde pasa las 12 y las 6. So, cada vez que la aguja quede entre las 12 y las 6, usted va a decir fast, ¿ok? Pero si la aguja minutera, la, los minutos, pasa a este lado rosado, va a decir tú. Este es como que dijera pasada las y aquí dice para las. Okay, uh, watch the video, and after we watch the video, I'm going to explain it too, okay? Pay attention to it, please. It's two o'clock. It's five past two. It's ten past two. It's quarter past two. It's twenty past two. It's 25 past 2. It's half past 2. It's 25 to 3. 
o ya contamos cuánto falta para, It's 20 que, to 3. para que llegue la hora, ok? 20 para las 3, ¿eh? 20 to 3. It's quarter to 3. Quarter, un cuarto. It's 10 to 3. It's 5 to 3. It's three o'clock. Okay, that's it. So this is for you to have an idea, okay, about what we are gonna do. But I'm gonna explain it, okay, right now. I'm going to explain, okay, how to tell the time in English. It's not so difficult, guys. It's not so difficult, okay? Um, it's very easy, but I want you to pay attention, okay? Exactly to the, the explanation here. Okay. Dijimos, bueno, ahí dice el video que cuando son horas exactas. ¿Qué es una hora exacta, teacher? An exact time is when you say, for, when you say, for example, one, okay? Eh, five. Cuando está ese y decimos en español en punto. Ok. So, this is uh, when, you, when you say that in English. Ok. So, you have to mention the number. Menciona el número. Ok. And you have to, um, to give me the, 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 the time here, exact time. But I'm going to ask, I'm going to write the question here. Les dije que era what well, time right. is, is, it? It? is it, pero hay otra también, right? Uh, what's the time, okay? That's it. So, no problem in here. Whatever you want to use is correct, okay? What time is it? Or what's the time? So, my friends, when, when you ask this question, you have to answer with it, okay? That's it. This is the, the answer, okay? Formal answer for that, okay? So, eso es como que usted diga, son las, okay? Llega allá y le dice, oh, eh, ¿qué horas son? Le dice, oh, ¿qué horas tenés? Ah, son las, right? In English, it's it's. So, hora exacta. So, you say the name, okay? The number, the number, one, pero me va a hacer esto. O apostrophe clock, okay? Clock. That's it. So, todas las horas exactas van a ir con o'clock. That's it. It's one o'clock. Okay. The other one here, that would be, in this case? It's five o'clock. Five, five o'clock. Uh -huh. Very good. O apostrophe clock. Okay. And then the period, right? The, the period is for the, el punto es por la plataforma, right? Because sometimes it's a little. Uh, so, the other one, it's... It's eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Very good. Eight uh, apostrophe clock. Okay. So this is a, the, the way you do it when it's an exact time, right? O'clock. Eso es como que diga en punto. Okay. No quiero oír a nadie que me diga in point. <laughs> en punto, right? Y cuando lo buscan en Google Translator, be careful with that. Okay. Esa es la hora exacta. Ok, ahora juguemos con los cuartos, ok. Eh, en El Salvador, no sé por qué decimos cora, right? Esa famosa quarter. cora que, que decimos en español es el quarter, ok. Quarter, alguien escuchó mal y empezaron a decir cora, ok, pero en realidad es quarter. 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 So, you remember... ¿Se acuerda? Ok, que en el relojito, déjenme buscarlo acá, ok, in the, in the, in the, in the video, ok, está acá. Este. No, I'm sorry. Ok, ¿se acuerda que en este video está dividido el reloj? ¿Sí? Ok. Está dividido en past and to. So, my friends, de las 12 a la 1... Aquí eh, juguemos con, lo, con, la, con la minutera, ¿ok? With the, with the la, long hand. De 12 a 1, aquí hay 5 minutos, ¿right? 
five. Cuando llega la minutera, el número dos, ¿cuántos minutos van? Ten. Ten, diez minutos. Cuando llega el tres, sería quince. Cuando llega el cuatro, veinte, twenty. Cuando llega el cinco, twenty-five. Ok. Y cuando llega el 30 es... Pero pues aquí vamos a, 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 a ver otro. So, ahorita vamos a jugar solo entre 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ok. Cuando la minutera, ok, cuando la minutera esté en esa parte, ok, usted, como decía ahí el video, tiene que decir... Past. Past. Okay. Quiere decir que entre los minutos, aquí le pongo entre los minutos 0, bueno, 01, right? <ríe> Comenzando desde el minuto 01 al minuto 29, ok, usted tiene que usar eh, past, ok. Hay otros que no usan past, dicen after. Ok, así que pues no problem. It's the same. Es como, what time is it? What's the time? It's the same. So you can use past or after. Ok, that's it. So, let's start here. Y vengo yo y, le, y tengo un relojito y el relojito tiene esta hora. Ok, y le pregunto a Luis, Luis, excuse me, what time is it? So Luis me va a decir, it's... Y aquí existen dos formas, la fácil y la difícil. Le llamo difícil pues porque es diferente, pero la fácil, usted solo lea lo que está enfrente y dice, it's two, twenty, four. ¿Ok? That's ok. Two, twenty, four. That's normal. ¿Ok? Dos, veinticuatro. That's ok. Pero la otra forma es esta, miren. It's, ahora, usted va a empezar a ver en su, en su reloj. El minuto 24, ¿en qué lado está? ¿En el lado amarillo o en el lado rosado? Ah, yo me acuerdo que está en el lado amarillo. Entonces, cuando es el lado amarillo, se dice past. past. Ok, pero... Primero va a comenzar con los minutos, ¿ok? First, you have to start with the minutes. ¿Y cuántos minutos pasaron de las dos? 24. 24. So you say, 24. ¿Ves? Pass. 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 Right? That's it. Y ahí tenemos lo mismo que decir, it's 2.24. It's 2.24. Pass to, ok. Teacher, pero yo lo quiero decir de otra forma. Entonces, en vez de pass, diga after. And there is no problem, ok. So, it's 2.24. It's 24 past 2. Or, I'm going to write it here, ok. Eh, para, para evitar decir el, por si no quiere decir, um, Past, okay, you can say, as I said before, after, okay, that's okay. That is another way you can say. So it's 24 after 2, okay, that's it. Other example, other example, one, okay, that's it, okay. So I have the question and the question is, excuse me, what's the time? Las dos formas. La forma fácil, ¿cuál sería? What's the time? It's... It's one ten. One ten. Ajá, sin miedo. Sí, one ten. It's one ten. It's one ten. Ah, ok. Thank you. But if you want to say it another way, ok. Excuse me, guys. What time is it? It's... It's ten. It's ten. Ten. Past one. Past one. Past one. Excellent. Very good. Hi, teacher, you will use after. Okay, it's 10 after 1. It's 10 past 1. Porque todavía estamos jugando, miren, del 1 al 29. Okay, that's something that you have to keep in mind. That's it. Other example. Okay, it's a 
for example, this one, okay, and that uh, it says here, um, this one, okay? What time is it? It's, it's uh -huh. forma fácil, it's 5.25. Uh huh, 525. That's okay. Very good. But if you want to do it the other way, okay, ¿cómo quedaría en la otra forma? Uh huh, it's, if you want to use, uh huh, it's, it's 25 past 25. 25, five. uh huh, past 5. Very good. Okay, that's it. Oh, and you have it this way 25 past 5 or it's 525. That's it, okay? Ahora usted me dice, ¿y cuál uso, teacher? Whatever you want. En Estados Unidos, en los otros países, es más común el, el, como el de nosotros aquí en El Salvador, pues usar el 25 pasado, ok? 525 decimos acá, ok? Allá en Estados Unidos usan más el otro. 25 pasada a las 5, right? Ok. So, mi intención acá es enseñarle ambas formas para que usted lo escuche una vez, por allá que viaje o escuche películas o en algo, o lo lea y entienda qué es lo que están diciendo. Ok, that's it. Questions so far? Hasta ahorita preguntas? Questions? No, that's okay. Va. Ok, so, this is, eh, este jugamos con el minuto 2, eh, uh, per, perdón, con el minuto 01 al 29, right? Yes. Ahora vamos con el minuto 30. Ok, that's it. Y el minuto 15. 15, guys. Ok, el, min, el minuto 15 o los minutos cuando llegamos aquí. En inglés, we say a quarter. Ok, a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter, okay? Quarter. So, that means that if we have cuatro y quince, the question is, what time is it? Oh, it's yes. four, fifteen. Uh, That's it, yes. normal. Four, fifteen, okay? But the other way, mire, como el 15 todavía está el del 1 al 29, se dice past o after. Usted dice it's, pero ya no va a decir 15. You quarter. have to say a quarter. Mm -hmm. a quarter. El 15 a siempre lo va a transformar en a quarter. So it's a quarter, a quarter after four. Right? That's it. Okay. So, 15 pasadas oh. las 4, o sea, las 4 y 15, right? It's a oh. quarter past 4. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's it. Remember, you can say after or past. There's no problem, okay? So, este es con uh, 15, okay? 15, okay? 15, a quarter, okay? Ahora vamos con el um, minute, ok, in this case, 30, ok, 30, in this case is half. This is Salvadorian, Salvadorian pronunciation, es como que usted me diga esto, ¿eh? Léalo. Half, ok, no me dice half, no. The letter L is not pronounced, ok, so you have to say half, half, ok. El 30. Exactamente es el último que usted va a usar con past and after, ¿ok? So, in this case, for example, if I say, what time is it? Y son las 3.30. What you can say, eh, in this case, you have to say, it's, ¿ok? Half, 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 past three. That's it, ¿ok? Or, if you want to say it another way, you say, eh, eat, okay, half, after, okay, three. That's it. That's it. In this case, el más común aquí, acuérdese, pues es decir half, okay. El otro más fácil sería 3.30. That's okay. 
3.30. But in this case, we're going to say half, half past three. Okay? Y así con todos, right? For example... Or eh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell or, me. Or thirty past three. Eh, 30 past 3 uh -huh. también, aunque acuérdese que aquí ya el americano ya no dice 30, aquí va a decir siempre half, half. Uh -huh. half. that's it, for example 230, right, that's it uh -huh. es como en español eh, ah, son las dos y media decimos, right half es media ok, so it's half, half. ok, past eh, tú. Uh -huh. That's it. Ok. So, con esto estamos nosotros jugando solo con la mitad del reloj. Ok. Del minuto 1 al minuto 30. El 15 se dice a quarter. Y el minuto 30 dijimos que se dice half. Ok. That's it. Questions. Do you have any questions with this? The questions are, what time is it? What's the time? Cuando son enteros, pues diga o'clock. Okay? That's Porque it. no podemos ocupar 45, 45. Todavía no lo hemos visto porque ya cambia. Ahorita solo estamos ahorita, Peter, con eh, la mitad del reloj. Sí, ya, ya vamos a ver esa parte. Ah, bueno. Ok, hey. ajá. Para que aprendamos el, el past. Ok, in this case. So, no questions, hagamos un ejercicio then, okay? So, I'm going to write here and you have to tell me, okay, what time is it, okay? For example, here, um, we, this is, okay, that's it. I have another one, a, another one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write five, okay? Um, so you can see. This is not so, so difficult, this part, okay? That's it, okay? So the question could be, what time is it? Okay, what time is it? Vamos con el number one, Salvador. Salvador, this is for you, the number one. What time is it, Salvador? The time is eight. Okay, uh, diga it's. Uh -huh. It's, it's, it's 20, 22 past eight. Excellent, 22 past eight. A very good. Ramiro, number two. What time is it, Ramiro? It's five past nine. Excellent, very good. Rudis, what's the time? Number three, what's the time? It's 10, uh, 25. Uh, no, 25, no. 29. Ok, very good, 10, 29. O sea, no es pecado decirlo así. Ahora dígame de la otra forma, the other way. Uh, it's 29. Uh -huh. Past 10. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. That's it. Next, Ever, please, Ever Cisneros, number four. What's the time, Ever? Excuse me, I cannot listen to you. Se escucha bien lejos. It's, uh, hoy it's, sí, ajá, hoy sí. It's one past ajá. One. Excellent, one past one, very good. Okay, Peter, what about this one? What time is it? It's six fifteen. Six fifteen. Okay, the other way. X 16 past 6. Okay, the other way? Is 6 is 15 after 6. Okay, the other way, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> Mire que hay muchas, ¿eh? Ahora dígame a quarter. 
<ríe> es que quiero que me usen ah. eso. Ah, ok. <ríe> uh, it's quarter past six. Excellent. Very good. It's a quarter past six. Ok, very good. Ah, Vicky, okay, what about time. this one? Siete veinte, it, Vicky. It's twenty past seven. Excellent. Very good. Ok, Luis. What about this one? Okay, that's it. What's the time, Luis? It's a uh, half. Uh, it's half uh, past uh, eight. eight. Excellent. Uh -huh. Eight. Excellent. Very good. Half past eight. Okay. Very, very, very good. Nice. Cuando usted esté usando, remember, cuando esté usándolo, y la, 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 la minutera esté entre el minuto 1 al minuto 30, va a usar past o half, o, eh, sorry, after. Cuando llegue al 15, la plataforma lo acepta con a quarter. Ok, be careful with that. Cuando llegue al 30, Va a decir half, ok, past. Y va a mencionar la hora, ok, that's ok. Ahora vamos ahorita a ver la segunda parte del reloj, esa parte rosadita. Do you remember? Yes. En esa parte rosada no decía past, decía tú, tú. tú. Quiere decir, va a usar tú, ok, va a usar tú. Desde el minuto, ok, from a minute, eh, sería 31, ok, to the minute 59, ok. Pero acá tenemos que hacer esa fórmula matemática. For example, digo yo acá, 9... Mire, 35. En la forma fácil es It's 9, 30, ajá, 5. Very good. Pero también quiero que aquí se acostumbre a decir, si se fija acá, usted ya no dice, ¿qué hora son, Vicky, en español? Ah, teacher, son 35 pasadas las 9. No. O ya no decimos así. Ahora nosotros, exacto, a partir del minuto 30, o sea, el minuto 31, usted tiene que hacer el cálculo cuánto falta para la próxima hora. ¿Ok? Por eso digo el tú, because tú means para las. ¿Ok? So, in this case, en español, ¿qué horas son? 25 para las 10. Ok, so, my answer is, it's 25 to 10. That's it. Porque es la hora próxima, ok? 25 a las 10. It's 25 to 10. That's it. This is one example. Other example, this one. What time is it? Well, it's five, okay, 40. That's the normal way. And the other way it's, it's, y hago la conversión acá. ¿Cuánto me falta para la siguiente hora? It's 22. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's 20 or 20 to 6. That's it, okay? There you go. Other one, okay? Uh, for example, um, this one, okay? What time is it? It's 1.58, right? That's the, el normal. Ahora díganme lo de la forma que les acabo de explicar. It's it is two. two. Ah. One. It is two. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Tú, tú, tú. ¿Ve? Dos para las dos. That's it. It's two, two, two. Right? That's it. Y si falta un minuto, usualmente yo me voy conectando quizás unos tres minutos a las ocho, right? Yo digo, ¿ya vas a empezar? Me preguntan aquí. Yo le digo, no, it's, it's one to eight. ¿Ve? Uno para las ocho. Still, right? So, falta uno, entonces digo two. Ok, that's it. Another one, other example. Oh, um, ahora vamos con este, miren. El que decía Peter. Ok. Uh -huh. Normal way, este es el normal. It's 445. 445, that's it. The other way, ¿cuánto falta para las cinco? It's a quarter for... Ajá. Faltan 15. Ay, como yo les dije que todos los 15 se decían a quarter, so yo digo it's a quarter, quarter to five. Two. Ajá, five, right? Two. That's it. Five. Ok, a quarter to five. It's... Porque estamos jugando desde wow. el minuto 31 al minuto 59. ¿Por qué no 60? Five. No, porque cuando llegan exactos dijimos es o'clock. A clock, so it's different. Okay, that's it. Questions, comments, doubts, dudas, doubts. No, that's okay. Okay, I'm okay. going to write some, 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 some others for you. Okay, and I will ask for your your participation here. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, uh, this one, there you have to use your mathematics, okay? Um, okay, another one, that's it, okay. Uh, I va mezclada, okay, that's it. This is for you to practice right now with me, okay, that's it, okay. Uh, Another one. Okay, there we go. The question is, what's the time or what time is it? Okay, let's start with the number one. Okay, and number one is Salvador Salazar, please. Salvador. Okay, what's the time, Salvador, in the number one? What's the time? Um, it's ten for one. Okay, ahí está usando el español cuando me dice for. Para las, no, para las no se dice for, it, se dice. It's ten to one. Eh, eh, mm, diez a la una. Aquí eh, cuando, cuando falte para las, este número uno lo cambia, oye, porque ves para la próxima hora. So, what time is it? It's ten. Ten, it's ten, ten to. Uh -huh. ten to. One. No, no es diez a la una. En español, ¿qué hora son? Diez para, para las dos. Oh, dos. Sí, perdón. Ah, okay. So, say that in English, Salvador. It's. It's ten. Eh, perdón. It's. Ten to two. Ten to two. Excellent. Very good. It's ten to two. Very, very, very good. Okay. Yeah. Number two. Dos cuarenta y seis. What time is it? Okay. What time is it, Janari? It's for it's fourteen to three. Excellent. Fourteen to three. Very good. Catorce las tres. Excellent. Very good. Very good mathematics, okay. Number three, okay. I'm accountant. Ah, you are an accountant. Okay, excellent. Very yes. nice. More, you are uh, number three, More. It's uh, 23 mm -hmm. uh, to four. 23 to four. Excellent. Very, very good. Karina, what time Ooh. is it, Kari? Uh, number four. Sería 
six and ips, sips, and uh, mire que estoy jugando con los 30, ¿ve? 30. Sí, sí, sí. Allí tengo que ocupar el half, ¿verdad? No. Half. Half. Ajá. El half sería... es aquel, aquel animal peludo que salía allá en los 80. <risa> sería. <risa> al six. Sí. Half. 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 Ah, eso, muy bien. Very good. Half. Half. Six. Half six seven. Seven. Half six seven. Half six seven. No. 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 Bueno, déjeme. It's half. Es que no le escucho muy bien. Half. Ajá. Ajá. Half pass. Ajá. Ajá. Six. Ahí es donde no le escucho. No sé qué número me está diciendo. Que escucho zero. Six. Como cero. Six. Uh -huh. six. Solo dígame el seis. Ajá, el seis. Six. Ajá. Six. Uh -huh. six. El... six. Ahí no sé. Hasta ahí llega. No tiene que ponerle ah, nada más, ¿sí es? It's eh, half past eh, six, eh, ajá, that's it. Uh, ya no le ponga nada más, porque ya dijo, okay. 30 pasadas las seis, ¿ve? Ajá. Uh, okay, okay. ok, ajá, ajá. Ok, be careful with that, ok. Next, eh, let me see. Uh, Peter, what about this one? What time is it, Peter, in this one? It's... 25 past 5. Excellent, very good. Rudis, what's the time? Very easy, Rudis. Uh -huh, what's the time? It's 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, very good, very good. Okay, next, uh, this one. Ramiro, what's the time? It's sería 12 to 4. Eh, ajá, 12. To 5, perdón. It's 12 to 5. Ah, ajá, ajá, ok, very good, very good. 5, eh, remember, esta va a ser la próxima hora. Ajá, that's mm -hmm. it, ok. David, easy, David, very easy. What time is it? Are you there, David? Ajá, David, what time is it? Nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Ok. Y Peter, para que practique el otro, el tú. Ajá, uh -huh, Peter. What time is it, Peter? It's uh, five to eleven. To eleven. Excellent. Very good. It's five to eleven. Ok. Great. Very, very, very good. Questions? Questions, questions, no, es que my tan friends. Complicados los gringos. No question. <ríe> Ay, y fíjese que no es tanto así. Tendría, nosotros tenemos que sentirnos bien orgullosos porque el español está clasificado como uno de los lenguajes más difíciles de aprender. Sí. Así que <ríe> quizás porque es, es, sí tiene horriblemente conjugaciones, pero pero en el caso del tiempo, pues ellos ocupan ese, ok, más el 25 para las, ok, el cuarto pasada las. It's like in Spanish, porque yo nunca digo, eh, ¿qué horas son? Ah, 43 pasadas las 4. Yo nunca digo así, yo usualmente digo las 4.43 o lo que falte para la próxima hora, ok. So, Keep in mind that, dividan en su mente el relojito del minuto 1 al minuto 30, usted va a usar half. Del minuto 31 al 59 va a usar two. Y va a ponerle la próxima hora, ¿ok? Si son las 3.45, pues va a decir un cuarto para las 4. Si llegan los 15, vamos a jugar con a quarter. Y si está en el 30, dijimos... 
half. This is the pronunciation, remember, half. Si está en, el, en punto, you say o'clock, okay? And, and that is the exercise that we have there, okay, uh, that you have in your, in your uh, WhatsApp group. Les mandé ese que casi no se me mira esa foto acá. But in your WhatsApp group, I sent this picture, okay? What time is it? The number one, okay? Aquí lo dice la forma fácil, okay? Aquí usan after, mire, after, okay? Cuidado en la plataforma, verifique si es after. Yo eh, siempre lean las indicaciones eh, porque pues se puede dar las dos formas. No sé si lo habrán puesto de ambas o solamente de una, ¿ok? Aquí dice 2.20. So, what time is it? It's 2.20, ¿ok? That's it. Esta es la forma. ¿Ve? It's 2.20. Another way, it's 20 after 2. Okay, one volunteer for the second, the second uh, clock. Okay, one volunteer for the second clock, please. Okay, that is this one. What time is it? It's, it's 10 to 7. Excellent, very good. It's 10 to 7, very good. What time is it? Aquí si no me equivoco, cuarto a la nueve. Ajá, what time is it? It's a quarter to nine. A quarter? Uh -huh. To nine. Excellent. Very good. What time is it? It's five. After. Eleven. After eleven. Five after eleven. Excellent. Very good. What time is it? Tres y quince. What time is it? Number five. What time is it? It's it's a quarter, it's a quarter after three. Excellent, a quarter after three, perfect. And the last uh, clock here, what time is it? It's, it's half after half four. After. Excellent, half, okay, after four or past four. Okay, That's very, four. very, very good. That's it. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing the time. Ahora pues hicimos poquito de práctica. No han ido las prácticas individuales, sino que conmigo estuvieron acá. Y ese es el tema para comenzar. Recuerden que de aquí al miércoles tenemos que terminar esta sección. Y el día jueves pues nos dedicamos a hacer final exam for beginners one. Ok. So this is the time, my friends. If you have any questions, let me know via WhatsApp, okay? And I'd be more than glad to help you out, okay? Thank you very much for joining my class tonight. I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank Good you. night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.